Welcome everybody to the new YouTube. Today we talk about how COPPA affects you as a viewer. If that interests you, then stay tuned. Alright, let's hop right into this. So, you guys may have wondered why I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, and well, the simple answer is, is I just didn't feel comfortable uploading. And, um, rise of this new threat to YouTube, well, threat, we'll discuss that more, um, known as COPPA, you guys probably have heard of it if you guys, um, are on, active on YouTube a lot. It is a child, uh, child Online Privacy Protection Act. Uh, it's a law that ensures um, that children under the age, mostly under the age of 13, are safe while they are online. Um, as we discuss this, I'm going to be referencing my little notebook here because I want to make sure that the information that I'm delivering to you guys is correct. Um, all this information I got off of the FTC's website, and I'll link that down below if you guys are interested in um, reading the um, sources that I got this information from. Straight from the FTC who reviews this law, who made this law, and so we're going to be discussing how it affects you as a viewer, because it will and it does. So what happened? What happened was... Um, YouTube and Google got in trouble. They got caught red-handed. They were uh, boasting about how m most of the viewers and people on their platform were kids under the age of 13. And that wouldn't matter except for the fact that according to um, COPPA, uh, they have to get permission from their parents for them to be on, to, on the YouTube platform which they state legally is for uh, kids older than 13 for the most part and so YouTube and Google are boasting about this and someone complains and the FTC such shuts them down because well they gave themselves away they were both or they were fined in total 170 million dollars and because they got in trouble they have to change some of the um, things on their platforms. Google is a bit different. We're mainly talking about YouTube here. So what YouTube is doing is they're requiring all their creators to mark their videos for whether it's for children under the age of 13 or for children over the age of 13. Um, and so Basically, what YouTube is trying to, their goal in, in, in changing their, pri their privacy policy and this, a lot of the policies on their uh, platform is to better able, to be better able to monitor the um, people that are on the platform and to keep kids off the, kids under the age of 13 off the YouTube platform more. And so that's basically what happened and that's like the simplified version of what's going on right now um, so, but we're gonna delve a bit deeper because to fully understand it to fully uh, um, under, uh, yeah, to fully understand why it's happening or what's happening and what will happen and how it will change things we need to delve deeper so you guys are probably wondering, well, how does this affect me if, it's, if it only applies to people who create content on the platform, then how does it affect me? Well, you watch those creators. That's just a matter of the fact. You watch a, a number of creators on the YouTube platform. Um, <clears throat> and the FTC, along with YouTube, are going to be monitoring, monitoring all the the creator's content to make sure that it complies with this uh, law. It's not a new law. It's actually been around for a while. But um, And if a creator doesn't comply with this law, 
and they can be fined up to $42,000. Now, you might think that's a bit ruthless. The FTC, just to clarify, the FTC does take into consideration the person's financial welfare and how it will affect their business or, I guess, in this case, their channel, right? And, um, you know, they're not going to completely destroy the livelihoods of creators. But, I mean, then again, we don't know, you know, how much they're they're going to find on, on any given creator. And, well, that's, that's what's scary. Right? For people who create, um, I mean, that's, like I said, it's the reason why I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, because I, I didn't want to, you know, just make content and then... The FTC takes it down or something, or like, I don't want to, you know, cough up money because they thought my content was for children. It, it's really, how do I put this? Um, it, it's just, it's it's scary. It's we don't know what it all is changing. Yet, because we, it, this isn't being green or reinforced, um, enforced until 2020, and um, we don't we don't know what to expect. YouTube has been super vague about what's considered content for children and what's not content for children. The FTC is sort of the same way. Nobody knows, you know, what to do. And, um, like, how do I make my content not for children? Like, I want to be a family-friendly channel, but if I'm a family-friendly channel, does that make me for children? And it's, we don't know. That's, that's the scary part. We're, we're, we're having to tread water, or walk in a lake, and we can't see the bottom. We don't know what's on the bottom. We don't know what, if there's something to attack us, or if, we're, if it's just smooth sand. And, um... Again, like, how does it affect you? What will change for you? Is um, hold on, let me see. This will be skipped. So. You know that, you know that begs the question: How will this affect my channel, your guys's, the, your guys's channel, the channel that you guys help me um, create? Um, I, but my vision for this channel, it it doesn't involve Kappa. It it it, it just, it doesn't include. You know, the threat of the FTC breathing down my neck. I, I just... That's not my vision for this channel. I do not want to make content on this platform having to worry about it. And so... Because of that, um, I, I want to... Disclaim, I guess declare, that my channel is not for kids under the age of... 13 or 13 um, to ensure this to ensure that uh, it's not for kids under the age of 13 I will be promoting my eBay page on this channel because that's a form of advertising that's one of the things that um, is not for kids under the age of 13 I will be promoting my eBay page on here um, and I guess promote, not promote, just, um, provide more older, more mature, more adult themes. Nothing, it's not going to be inappropriate in any means. Um, it's just going to be a higher level, um, uh, just, or a more mature, um, atmosphere is what I will try to create to ensure that uh, that the FTC doesn't you know come and slam down on my channel 
shut it all down, you know. It, it, it's, uh, it's, it's what I've decided to do because I felt that was best. I feel like my audience is uh, a lot of people my age and older. I don't really see having kids old, younger than 13 on my channel. Um, and so because of the FTC, uh, that is how things will be on the channel now. Um, I'm guessing I, or I'm guess, I'll, I, will, I will be doing more review videos on this channel also, reviewing different tech and stuff. Um, more maybe computer videos. Uh, I think it, that's that's just a matter of the f fact. So that's what I've decided to do. That is my disclaimer. If um, kids under the age of 13 are watching this channel, then I, I'm not responsible. One of the things that does annoy me is that the FTC, well, the law, basic, the way it's worded, it leaves almost like it's the internet or if it's um, m like my responsibility to make sure that my channel is safe for kids under the age of 13. The issue with the, the issue with this that I see is that I mean like kids under the age of 13 have access to a lot of things. If they have access to YouTube, they're probably using their parents' account. And I mean Google, they have they have it set up so that if a kid under the age of 13 you know, has a, has a Google account, has a Google Gmail, then the parent can set it up and they can have, they can monitor everything, set timers on everything, you know, uh, give permissions to anything. And that's like, Google is, um, or Google's allowing parents to give permission for their kid to do things that otherwise maybe the parent doesn't want them doing. If a kid's using their parent's email, isn't that, in essence, the same thing? Like, if a parent's use, if a kid's using his parent's email, then, and if the parents know about it, then they understand that they are giving their child permission to be on the YouTube platform, per se, because they're using their email. And let's just uh, take another example. Like, it's just... Well, well I, actually, I actually don't have another example. But... It, I'm not sure if you guys will or can or understand my point, but it it just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like it doesn't need to be our responsibility to make sure that my channel, like, why should it be my responsibility for my channel to be uh, appropriate for the ages of under thirteen? If now I'd understand if I promoted my content as for stuff under the age of thirteen, then. Yeah, it would be my responsibility to make sure that I make content that's appropriate and relevant to kids and that it complies with the COPPA standards. But that is not how I'm promoting my channel. That is not how I want it to be. And so, FTC for watching, and maybe look at that, because that's a, that's a bit um, weird, I, I really feel, because if... A, child has their Google account and they're on YouTube, the chances are they got permission from their parents, and if not, then it's the child's responsibility. If a child's using their parents' email, then shouldn't we assume that there is they have permission from their parents? And if not, then that's the parent's responsibility to take care of the child. It is not mine. It is not any other creators on the internet. It is not any other, you know, business owner or anything's responsibility unless otherwise they promote so FTC if you're watching you guys need to fix that but that that that's that's it I wanna thank all of you guys for uh, for your patience and support while we begin to tread these new waters um, it's if you guys want to file a complaint or uh, s uh, say something about this whole situation, if you have an opinion about it and you want to share it, then you can actually contact the, the FTC. I'll leave a link down below. Also leave the links where I found the sources down below. Also, link to my eBay page where I sell different collectibles and uh, 
um, toys and tech and cool things and stuff. Um, check it out and see if there's anything there that you're interested in. Um, and with that, guys, I look forward to creating content for you guys again and get you know getting back on this train track. You know, 2020 is just around the corner, around the corner, and it's gonna be exciting. I'm really excited, and I hope you guys, all, all of you guys are too. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.